The band's back, baby. Don't worry, I still love you, Arkai. For those of you that haven't paid attention to the last season of the anime or the last two-ish sets of Japanese news, Link Joker's invasion has started all over again. Kind of. To be fair though, we kind of stand this? I mean, that's one of the reasons that I love Grand Grace so much. It's literally just bring out the good stuff of Kater and play the nation to the best of its abilities. Anyways, one of these new reverse cards is Ya yeah Girl. So we can talk about Leonard again today. No, I don't have the LSR. This is the shiniest one I have. I like this better though. I like the frame better than having the Aurora art. Guys, say though, Aurora's being evil is literally just getting good and analyzing games or whatever. Like, her personality doesn't change at all. She literally just gets brainwashed into, oh no, we can't have a place to all our personality. It's the anime be a uniform or whatever. That's the bad guys. But we're not talking about the Band Geek Lolly. No, you guys already know my favorite, so okay, girl. They were talking about how the Band Geek drum major avatar win all my chemical romance. Uniroid Procession of Subordinate Leonard Masks. That is a long name, we're just calling Leonard Mask. The score Leonard Reverse has three different effects. First off, these evil forms all have the same gimmick, except they have to be ran over by a grade three with their counterpart's name, and this lets you know, go in the ride deck and lets you gimmick into the mask so you can pop off turn three and cheat out Persona Ride. I should probably mention that. Here's a mask that lets you search out your mask card and lets you Persona Ride mask cards if it's in drop zone and you just kind of put it in the drop zone at, for the ride line and cheat. And there's, there's still a chaos. There's so many ways we use cheat orders into drop zone if we don't need them in our hands. Anyways, mass forms unlock their potential, so... I hate this. I hate... I hate that it literally took me scripting this video. You see the actor script? It took me until scripting this video to figure out... Mask is basically a Persona 5 reference. And Leonor being the plant girl, who kind of looks like Musketeer. It's gonna, it's gonna make her hard. So, actually best girl now. Leo Harmonor now has two different effects that basically are evolutions of original ones. First one says that at the cost of removing another Leonor card name from the game, so not buying zone or not soul blast range, just bye bye goes. You can call one grade one or lower from your drop zone and retire your opponent's rear guard. This is pretty nutty. On one hand, there's a grade restriction, which makes it not as good as original Leonor that just draw a card and call a card, so you're missing out on your plus cycle draw or whatever, but this is Leonor and you're gonna wanna have grade one or lower cards anyways for boosting. And this lets you retire a card. You get removal in your Leonor deck. That's kinda cool. Just remember that removal from play is different from bind. The only difference is that, well, neither one has an official zone. So, but you will get on that. You have two zones that are technically removed from play, but are different kinds of removed from play. So, we know, but some people might not know. Do a playmat thing or something, I don't know. But Rayon, the draw is what makes this card good in the first place. Yeah, two things here. First off, Mask is a main phase thing, so you can activate Original Norn's second effect to let you draw and call a card before you summon your Persona. Secondly, yeah, Rip Draw effect. Honestly, it's kind of okay though, because Original Leonorn had a huge deck out problem between her cycle draw and her triple drive, so this helps you a little bit to not deck out quite as fast. Anyways, remember how Leonorn used to get triple drive and resand two boosters? Now it's a little bit different. So, when a girl attacks, you still are able to boost with three standing units. Don't forget these do have to be standing, so make sure you don't boost with her and then say skill activate. But this time without the cost of discard one and soul blast one, so, so far so good. Unfortunately, she doesn't get triple drive, so we're two for two on losing our get extra cards and deck out effects. But her here is a very big girl. I mean, I'm talking DP numbers. Make up for the lack of drive checks though, her stand ability, you know the one that used to stand two boosting rear guards at the end of that uh, at the end of battle? I got an upgrade. Now you still can. You still can stand those two boosting rear guards. However, there's a better thing to do now. Reverse Leonor stands any two rear guards. At the cost of a counter blast. But if you think about it that way, it's one counter blast versus one soul blast in a discard, so you're still plusing. That's right! We're in multi-attacking territory now. I mean, Resonance Dragon already kind of did that to give Leonor a fourth attack. And look at now. 
I mean, honestly, I tried the Inlet Pulse in set 70 and I did not really like it, but they showed off an episode where they debuted the card, so it's got, that's, that's the strat. It's gotta be good. Buy your Inlet Pulse is now 10 bajillion dollars. At least it just got a reprint. I'm just saying that there's plenty of other options. Speaking of this grade one deck, running almost as many great fees as Bastion. Did you know the Inlet has a trial deck version? I mean, these are usually like the bad ones, but the triple drive and boost skill are still there. And the strum major is an 18K when boosted, AKA what you constantly do. It might be the best tech, but I mean, there is another version of Leonorn to pop off maskless and keep those pluses coming. And while we're talking techs, let's see what we can spice up. Builds where we blindly build decks based on what we just talked about today. This edition, these will be in the future. I just printed them out because I was printing stuff out. Kitchen table edition. All right, so Redland first. Kitty cat, doesn't matter, starter. This, I love this tech so much. You can run this in anything, Keter or Soakea. Basically, slow blast that with X effect, and then suddenly you have a 13k booster anytime you persona ride. Uh, just call it a front row, have an attacker that will just wipe or just boom, free body, it's it's good. You run this if you have room for it. Alternatively, you could run the Zorga Guide because you're running a couple of orcs deck. I like the grade two. I like the grade two a lot. If you're able to guard early, you can get a free card off it. If you don't do anything else, you at least get the maple set up. It's good, it's very good. Even if you call itself the 10K booster, cool. And of course, you gotta have basically an order in there because we can't go into mask without another version of Leonor. And I mean, I'm not not gonna run the one unless you draw a card and call a card. Like I said, you combo this and then mask immediately into the girl. I mean, you guys know this what the video is about. Calls things with multi-attack. Like, this is literally what the video is about. Just watch the rest of the video. <laughs> of course, calling things. We run Diantha. I still only have two, but for some reason, need to pick up two more. If you guys want to support the channel, make sure to check out my TCG player store. It helps me afford cards to make better decks. Who basically says on call, you can call a card out of drop zone, and she's also a 13k as long as you have a full back row. Pretty good. This is basically my fifth thing. Uh, soul Blast is nice because you don't Soul Blast too much anymore without base Leonorn. And if we do need Soul, we also run two of these. It'll help us counter charge by retiring some units. No problem, we can call a bunch of cards back for you all the time. And you know, it's just good to have Soul and counter charge and draw cards. This is a really good plus. Put on to the card that gets the mask. This is a Dragon Free Wretch for the deck. Uh, they all basically say Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, grab the mask, yay. And then you also make a Dragon Free Marker, which are these guys. I need real ones. They have stupid ratios in the set. Good job, Bushy Road. It's basically a mini Force Marker. If you have a unit on top of it, it's going to get plus 5 during your turn. Of course, like I said, the mask, have to run it. I'm doing it as a two up because you really only need to see one to get your mask set up in the first place, but it's, it's a top five percent ride searcher. And you get it off of him, so you might as well run it. I still see running as a four up unless you really need a percent ride every turn. This deck, you do not need to as much, I don't think. I like Clap and Dragon. I like it a lot. Run four of it. Kind of last one. Draw a card. Gets plus 10 to one turn if you have a full field. 23k beater, 33% ride, you are resanding, very nice. Then you're the Power Boys. Yeah, got three of this new promo grade one. I still need my fourth, but I mean, I think running three in here is fine. Um, it's gonna be able to get the card in front of it plus five, which is great now that you resand the cards in front of it. And let's do Soul Charge, so let's more stuff for Soul. So for Dello, 13k beater. Are you sensitive theme to our grade ones? Of course, Genericness, we got four perfect guards. I'm choosing to run 40s instead of using an order, even though Elementra is good now that grade 4s are running rampant, just because you need bodies in this deck. Worst case scenario, you can call one of these as a body. Finally, triggers. I'm still using the generic over trigger just because it's the one I had handy when I was putting all this stuff together. You can go to the Stoakea one now that your front row matters, but like this gives two things the plus 10 bajillion bajillion. 
And what you used to do with it is just give it two of your boosting rear guards, so they basically get four uses out of it, two on the lead on attack, and then two more for a three sand. You can still do that, or you give this to your two rear guards, and give them all the plus 10 bajillion. A lot of things you can do with this, but like I said, you can use the Omni Trigger now that your front room actually matters. Up to you, I just like the art of this one. <laughs> Uh, we are running four draws just because the triple drive's gone and the draw effect's gone, so kind of neutralize that a little bit. Then crit city. Seven crits. Of course it's still in crit. And four heals. So that's how Haru Okamuro became a card fight Vanguard player. Didn't I already say that Haru had an entire musketeer archetype? Yes. Should I be talking about the Leonor support when the full set's revealed and just wait to do a video on all of the Stoakea? Uh, likely, but this isn't that video. If you guys want to see that video, though, I don't know what my like goal is for this. Just click the like button. And if you want some more screen in the meantime, might I suggest some Baha Lime Raise Energy? Because I sure do have a discount code for all your online orders. Just make sure you type Skyridge in everyone's favorite drop down menu on checkout. Anyways, I got some proxies to test and a lot of Dark State stuff to talk about in the future. So until next time, always. Embracing infinite.